The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas Dajuddin, has bemoaned the poor funding in the nation's health care sector. Abbas said, although a considerable amount is appropriated to the health sector annually, yet it is still grossly inadequate and far below what is invested in other countries. The Speaker, who was represented by Honorable Obodo Mitema, a member representing Obia Federal Constituency of Bayelso State, made this observation at a one-day public hearing organized by the House Committee on Healthcare Services at the National Assembly Complex, where four bills are expected to be debated on by stakeholders in the sector. Abbas said more still needs to be done if the life expectancy of the average Nigerian is to improve in order to reduce infant mortality. It is no longer news that despite the committed efforts, the health sector has sadly over the years faced several challenges associated with urban medical tourism, immigration of skilled healthcare workers, poor salaries and insufficient budgetary allocation. It is also sad to note that even though Nigeria has the highest gross domestic product GDP in Africa, the progress it has achieved in health has been rather slow and disappointing. Hence, more effort is needed if we are going to be at par with Western countries. Indeed, more needs to be done if the life expectancy of average Nigerian is to rise as well as a reduction in infant mortality. He loaded the hard work, commitment and support of the chairman and members of the committee while contributing their quota towards helping Nigerians achieve not only better health but having access to better health care. The House Committee on Healthcare Services and other health-related committees of the House of Representatives and indeed the National Assembly are fully committed to doing their part by initiating and amending laws that will always be people-friendly with the aim of bringing succor and positive changes towards the health sector in Nigeria. The acting chairman of the committee listed a host of challenges that has bedeviled the healthcare sector over the past few years, ranging from rising cost of medical equipment, inadequate funding, preventable medical errors, and many more. I wish to assure you all that as legislators and members of the Committee on Healthcare Services, we are conscious of our constitutional and legislative responsibility towards the people. We are, all, we are at all times ready to partner with relevant stakeholders and support any genuine effort required to improve the healthcare system in Nigeria. On a final note, as we prepare to meticulously study and deal with this bill, I wish all of us successful and fruitful deliberation. Um, I think the only thing that will help us to have our demographic stratification of the citizens of Nigeria is to have a strong, all-inclusive, comprehensive national uh, social security register. It can only attain this level if it has a legislative backing and if it is allotted a responsibility that is day to day. As it is now, as practitioners, sometimes we find it very difficult when we are confronted with situations of people who need, who daily need uh, support through some of these social funding programs. You will be presented with a patient who requires this, you need to make justifications for it. You need to, and then despite that, by the time the help will come, it will be too late. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.